Welcome to Video Day Project 3. Today we're going to go ahead and get this angle finder uh, and square it away and de-rustify it and clean it up and shine it up and do everything we have to do to it. And um, at the same time with the antique mall, I bought these gouges. This uh, was stuck in the end of this one. I've got it out. So today I'm going to show you how I'm going to square this away and make it new again. This is an angle finder that I got from those guys a few months ago, and this is my go-to one. And it was uh, it was just as bad as um, it was just as bad as this one. And the reason why I like this, of course, it's got the thumb screw that you could tighten this up and loosen it down with. I like this better. But this was uh, asking four dollars. I offered fifty cents. Bought it for three. So let's take this apart and um, get this uh, get this out of here. There we go. And what we're going to do is we're going to drop this in evapo-rust. Normally I use electrolysis, but I want to try evapo-rust on this one and see what happens. I'm not going to put the wood elements in. I'm just going to put the blade in it and evapo-rust. I'm going to let it sit overnight. And then um, that's it. So let's scrape some of this off with a brush. I'm just going to get a a brass brush and just trying to make sure that I get it all in my workbench. Yeah. This is the evapor rust container. You can use this stuff over and over and again. There we go. Okay, it's been about two or three days because uh, I got sick. So here's what it looks like coming out. And then um, let's go ahead and scrub this stuff off here and see what it looks like. You know, an easier way to do this so you don't have to mess with chemicals is use an orbital with 120 sandpaper. Make sure you do it on your bench top so you get all the sandpaper and little pieces of metal inside your bench top so you're chiseling and everything. It gets all over everything. So you don't have to wait four days for uh, for um, for the chemicals. Now I'm gonna 120 this. This is the um, the more coarse side. I'll just do one little section. You can see. All right, now let's go to the finer side. But I'm going to keep working on this. I'm also going to do the nut. Oh, there we go. Got it all buffed out. I'm not going to put any oils or anything on it. I think it's just fine, just like this. Works, functions perfectly. Doesn't get stuck anymore. It's not all rusted and raggedy. It used to, uh, this one used to look like this one, but I use this all the time. And, you know, um, I like this one better, like I said, because it's got that thumb thing on it. And it's flat. And you can use both sides. This one's got, you know, this big knob. It might not even be the original one on there. I have no idea. But anyway, there we go. Functions.